Hey, third grade. It's so good to be back with you guys. It's been quite a long time since I've seen you. Uh, hopefully, you guys have been having fun with your lessons, but this week is going to be something pretty cool. You guys, I believe, are in lesson, let me see, 2.10. Lesson 2.10 is about the Limburg brothers. Now, the Limburg brothers were a pretty cool group of people. Uh, they lived in France around 600 years ago, and they were really famous for making calendars. Kind of like the calendars you would buy at the dollar store that have little kittens on them. It says April, May, June, July. Well, where do you think they got that idea? By that, I mean, where do you think the people who made modern calendars got their ideas from? It's from the Limburg brothers. The Limburg brothers were pretty famous for the drawings they would put on each page and how they showed the seasons in January, February, March by what they showed in their pictures. So for example, in April, in one of the pictures you'll see in your lesson, there are green trees, there are people outside, it's when people are starting to come back out again, it's no longer cold, and it's getting into the really happy months. They have people getting married and people fishing in the background. That's how they can show that it's April. The Lindbergh brothers were very famous for many reasons, and not just that, but also they were one of the first people to actually start drawing ordinary people. Not many artists chose to go that route, mostly because back then ordinary people were not something people wanted to see all the time. It's a sad truth, but the Lindbergh brothers saw the need. So today in your lesson, you're going to be looking at some of their paintings and some of their drawings. You're going to see how they used the, uh, the element of space. Space is one of the elements of art used in a painting or a drawing to show depth in an artwork. Depth in an artwork shows it almost like you can reach your hand in the back. It's the way you organize and put shapes on a piece of paper to give the illusion of space. I hope you guys have fun. All the instructions for your project are on your lesson. It actually is pretty helpful because it walks you step by step. Gives you all the PDFs you need to fill out, and it'll be a lot of fun. You guys will be making your own calendars, just like the Lindbergh brothers. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with and how you show the changing of the seasons and how you use depth and space. The elements and principles of art are so important. One of these days, we're going to go right into all those elements and principles, and we're going to learn more about them specifically. Think of them as a recipe. When you're cooking, you don't just want to start throwing random ingredients into a pot and hope that you get a really good tasting meal. You want to follow a recipe from someone who understands how to make food, so that way your meal is actually good. Think of the elements of art as the ingredients. Then the principles of art are the recipes. Art should be something that is appetizing, something that makes you want to look at it more. Don't just throw random elements in there and hope to get something good. If you know the elements and principles of art, just like space and depth that we're talking about here in this lesson, you'll be able to make any kind of art. I guarantee it. All right, again, this lesson is 2.10. It should be on your daily plan for this week. I hope you have fun. Uh, after the lesson is done, you'll have your quiz, and then you should be done. This is part one, so get ready for part two. All right, bye, everybody.